from the land of gods and we are doing the weekly reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from 11th till the 17th of April. Please remember these are general readings. Times fluid and energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to see if you're here for the first time. Welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel, guys. And if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you so much. Welcome back. Whatever you do here, whether it's a like, whether it's a comment, a view, a share, a sub, everything matters and makes a difference. So thank you so very much for making a difference. Let us jump straight in, Virgos. Let us see what could be the challenge that might present itself. The world. Ooh, what are we trying to kickstart? I hear more like a kickstart than wrapping up. There's something, of course, world is about wrapping things and heading towards something new. I feel that you are more when it comes to the scale of wrapping and starting, I think you are closer towards the starting. However, there's something which kind of feels has come in between you and this new start. Now let's see, how do we deal with that? Ooh, look at that, sun. My, my, what beautiful cards there. Virgos. Stay patient, darling. Sun is about to rise and shine. You know, it's the darkest right before the dawn. It's something like that, I feel. And, oh, dang, what lovely cards you have. See, this is what I'm saying. There is something new that we are trying to start. Page of Wands here. There is something that we are heading towards. Something that really tickles us. Something that really, you know, gets us going. Something that we have been working on. Something that excites us. Something that really kind of talks to us something that we feel like quite passionate about Ooh, I see the star there like divine blessings coming your way with temperance as the outcome it's all gonna be fine it is just a small hiccup no big deal stay patient things are gonna sort sometimes themselves out you know nobody can stop the sun can someone exactly so whatever that is that is making you feel things have kind of slowed down stay patient just be i see that sun rising here as well my god so much beautiful 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 strong positive vibes i feel here lovely and we've got three major arcanas there like this whatever that is going to be this new start where we are trying to head towards it's gonna be fabulous going to bring so much of happiness and peace and balance and harmony and joy all of that in life then what is this that is not letting us be and kind of in our head and not feeling like we can have this kickstart what is this world Please clarify. Ooh, strength. Are we kind of losing self-confidence here? Ooh, this is to do with confidence. Look, look. Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this new start is really something that gets us going. You know, there's mullahs there. There is excitement there. There is creativity there. Whatever that is. The tower. We are waiting for that moment when, you know, things just click. It just goes like... You're just waiting for that moment to come to you and you're just feeling stuck. Look, you're not getting it and you're just feeling stuck now. Like how long am I supposed to wait and somehow losing the confidence, whether it is self-confidence or confidence on this project or in general, whether it's going to click or not. You started questioning that. Don't question love. Sun is about to rise and shine. Look at that. The happiest card ever. I see the six of pentacles on the floor. I'm going to pick that up. Okay. Page of pentacles. Is this the pentacle that we see right there? Yes, it is. Yes. Pages are all about bringing in new energy, fresh energy in the situation. And what better card to come along 
with the sun. I mean, wow. Six of pentacles. This is a, something like a sudden windfall kind of a energy or someone finally coming in. I feel that there is some role to be played by someone, not just you, like someone external who will come and, oh my, my, 10 of pentacles, who's gonna make things happen. This could also be someone getting some sort of promotion that you have been waiting for a long time, some kind of a shift in the job situation and you are waiting and waiting for quite a while and you do not know when things are gonna happen. And guess what? Sooner or later, I hear sooner than later, things are gonna happen. And when they're gonna happen, oh my God, it's gonna happen quick. It's gonna come to you like, you know, like the moment the sun starts rising, it was like dark, like just a couple of minutes back and now the sun is up and shining. Yeah, to catch the sunrise, you know, you gotta be there when it's still dark because once it starts rising, there's no stopping the sun, is there? With the six of pentacles as well as that ten of pentacles i really feel that this has got something to do with money 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 yeah this could be your own business or a promotion of sorts which is going to not only get you a well-deserved title or position but also it's gonna be a bigger paycheck yeah much bigger paycheck more than you had thought of, I hear, or expected. Wow, wow, look at you, Virgos. Temperance as the outcome, and all of that really helped. Look, we are moving forward. That is the only direction that we should be focused on, moving forward in this beautiful, beautiful direction. And Hermit, Hermit with that page of wands. Oh my God, that is so absolutely wonderful, wonderful spread that I have in front of me for you guys, Virgos. You are definitely heading, heading with a very, very positive attitude, very well balanced. Everything seems to be wonderful. Do not land up questioning this. You've waited for a long time, okay? You've waited for this. You've waited for your moment to come to you. There was a time that you were doubting yourself, which I feel you are still kind of doubting. Don't. This hermit is taking me there. Look, Knight of Cups as well as the Nine of Rods. I understand that this has taken longer than you had expected, but keep the passion going. Keep that inner light. This feels more like hope than isolation or wisdom or whatever. That inner light feels like keeping your hope going while things are dull and things are, you know, at a snail's pace. Almost so much so that, that you feel stuck in this. No, uh, when things are gonna start rolling, they're gonna start rolling like how? Like it's gonna be fast, I feel. Let us get you an oracle guidance message for this fabulous spread. My, my. April seems to be going for you guys. Nice, I'm happy for you. Spirit, ooh, look at that. Carelessness, that is what you need to be careful about. Carelessness, let us see what is this warning sort of, I feel. There is some warning that we are getting. Like, heads up. This card describes a situation in which someone may have acted foolishly or without thinking. Perhaps you or other person are reflecting after a regrettable event. A case of act in haste, repent at leisure. After the creation of the world, Epimetheus was supposed to give a positive characteristic to each of the newly created animals. However, he didn't plan or think ahead. So he had run out of beneficial traits by the time it came to giving something positive to human race. 
Oh, how wonderful is that? <laughs> what timing for us to be in the queue. Had he thought about it, he might have distributed the talents more evenly. He also ignored warning. See, I'm telling you, this is more like a heads up. So don't ignore something that you feel when you are here, that something you might be missing or somebody who's been acting foolishly as it's not all in your hand. As I said, this something is having other people's energy here. So other people are involved. This is not completely up to you to have this kickstart and that is the reason you feel stuck. He also ignored warnings about Pandora and accepted a gift from her, which released terrible afflictions on humankind. He was confounded by her beauty and lost the ability to be cautious. Epimetheus became associated with imprudence and afterthought or someone who acts first and then thinks later. If this card represents your future, do try to think before you act now. So maybe we just need to think about how do we go about this because sun is gonna rise and shine. So let's just have all loose ends nicely tied. So when this happens, we are all ready. It's just a heads up, a warning of sorts that I feel for you guys, but otherwise looks absolutely fabulous. Keep the right attitude while you wait and when things happen, be ready for it. And on that note, my Virgos, I'm going to take your leave. Thank you so very much for joining me. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.